Let's continue exploring the universe within art and the art within Guild Rock. I'm your host, Omle Du, and this is the first episode of my Let's Play here on this server. In episode zero, the tour, I mentioned that I needed to pick a guild, and so I decided to join ZQ. On top of the allure of captured charged creepers, one of the members is the guy who invited me to join this server. So I'm super duper excited to start my journey here in Zarkon. Plus, I really love the fantasy style of their home area. It really makes me want to build stuff, you know, like Fantasy Pass, or maybe a giant cave, or a dragon, or something like that. You know, I've been wanting to build a dragon for a long time, so we shall just have to see, you know, what all I can come up with throughout this Let's Play. It should be a whole lot of fun. I've also had a few PC issues recently, and I actually ended up getting a new computer, and it can do RTX ray tracing stuff, so that should be super duper exciting to showcase. But since I've started playing, the other guild members decided that I should build on this little hilltop back here, and I think that this is the perfect place for something like a dragon or something, but I'll have to get the resources first, so we shall see. The first thing I've been tasked with by the guild is building a shulker farm in the overworld, which does not seem like much fun, you know, but I'm gonna try my best to get it done. But we've been having problems. You know, Joe Buffalo has been trying to duplicate a shulker and it just hasn't been working out. The shulker is giving us all kinds of problems. But while he does that, I went ahead and followed a tutorial on how to build a shulker farm made by one of our very own guild members. And as usual, apologies if I get the name wrong, but I believe his name is pronounced Haycon. I will be sure to link the tutorial in the video description and pop it up here on the screen as well if you would like to build this yourself in your own world. You can follow his tutorial. He does all sorts of really cool tutorial content. And now that I've gotten the basics of the farm complete, I need to make a way for us to be able to load the shulkers in. And so I'm thinking a, you know, just giant railway staircase thing. So I'm just going to use dirt and pillar up here all the way so that I can place railings on top. That way, hopefully, we can just load the shulkers into minecarts and then push them all the way up. And hopefully it will be just that easy. But, you know, moving shulkers is never fun, especially when you're being harassed by phantoms. You know, if you hate phantoms too, let me know in the comments. Let's start a petition to get rid of phantoms. <laughs> you know, but in all seriousness, I hate phantoms. They are like one of the worst things ever added into Minecraft. You know, because if you're actually playing normally, like exploring and stuff like that, you're skipping nighttime, so phantoms don't matter. But if you're lost building, having fun, you know, you don't sleep, and then phantoms knock you off your build. You know, really, like, phantoms are one of those that are just anti-fun. Like, they don't really serve a purpose for generic gameplay. All they do is harass you when you're actually enjoying yourself, you know? But anyway, you know, hopefully, I didn't measure this rail system thing, so I'm really hoping it lines up. You know, the closer I get, the more skeptical I am that I'm actually going to get up there in time. I probably should have measured this out, but, you know. It actually looks like it's going to work out perfectly. You know, I'm super duper glad because I really did not want to build this all over again. You know, but I just have enough room to bridge out with glass so that the shulkers can't, you know, teleport to the, to the dirt pathway or whatever and it's gonna work out, you know? So now all I have to do is build the rail system and then get the shulkers and hopefully it will all be quick and easy and painless. And we got it done, how cool is that? Now all we have to do is go get the shulkers. So I probably should have mentioned this before, but this episode is basically going to be all about me trying to get shulkers and trying to move them into the overworld. So hopefully you will learn from my mistakes and, you know, get a laugh at my frustration. You know, moving shulkers is never easy, but now it's time to get rid of the scaffolding and watch it rain down. You know, I always love breaking really tall scaffolding and just watching it fall. You know, I don't know why there's just something pleasant about watching the, the scaffolding rain. Scaffolding rain, rain down upon me, scaffolding rain. <laughs> uh. But now that that's done, it's time to head to the end and try to move these guys back into the overworld. So basically, I just have to move them to a return portal, you know, shove them through the return portal and then get them to the dragon island and shove them through the dragon portal thing. You know, but I, I honestly have no real clue what I'm doing. Um, and, you know, it looks like we got one trapped. It's kind of bouncing, which is weird. Hopefully I can just... It fell through the floor. Well, that's not a good sign. I don't think it's supposed to do that. You know, I've helped move shulkers before, and I don't remember them ever falling to the floor, so that's kind of, 
kind of weird. I wonder if that's like a current bug or something. Hopefully it won't give us too much grief though. Like we'll just try to move this guy outside and, and see what happens. And he fell to the floor and now he's suffocating. Oh, this is not a good sign. Oh goodness. And I'm floating and I can't get there. And I don't even know. I don't know what to do now. Oh, if I can't use minecarts, this is going to be like impossible. Uh, we'll just, we'll just keep trying and keep experimenting. Maybe I can figure out why they're falling to the floor. I don't, I've never seen this happen before. Have you ever seen this happen before? You know, this guy seems to be fine. He's not falling to the floor. You know, this is, this is what they're supposed to do. You know, okay, okay, this is a good sign. Okay, he didn't fall to the floor. I moved him around back and forth a few times. You know, okay, so we're just going to get one in a boat. You know, because I haven't, um, I, I don't, I don't have the rails to actually make it all the way to the portal. You know, but for some reason this guy won't get in the boat. You know, I'm, I'm really not an expert at moving shulkers. Oh, uh, he won't get in the boat. I don't, I don't know. I guess maybe they have to be like sitting on the ground, not like on the side. Yeah, because this is not working. I'm just like inside of him. Uh, okay, so let's break the block that he's on and try to get him on the floor. And then of course I'm being harassed by <laughs> Enderman too. Oh man. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Oh, jeez. Okay, I finally finagled one onto the ground. Okay, we got him in a boat. All right, we can do this now. Like, hopefully, I can just, like, move the shulker like any other mob using, like, a lead, you know, to get him up. Like, like, tiles, you know, if you, like, build up and jump and stuff. You know, hopefully that works. If that works, then we can just ignore rails altogether since they seem to be wigging out, you know. But he doesn't seem to want to, to jump. Hmm. I guess, like, shulkers in a boat are like too heavy or they like stick to the floor or something you know because like normal animals you can just sit here and jump and eventually the boat will like pop up but this is just this is definitely not working he's just like stuck there oh this is gonna be so so painful oh geez what did i sign up for okay well if i can't get him up blocks using a boat you know at least i can pull him maybe very very slowly <laughs> with like tons of, of shulker shells like flying at me <laughs> oh god this is gonna be so hard maybe i should just like get in the boat and go for a ride you know this is also kind of slow but i think it's faster than using a lead at least and then hopefully you know i can just kind of boat him to the portal and then use a rail system to shove him through the portal you know but endermen are now in my boat of course <laughs> like <laughs> oh god and now i'm being attacked by endermen <laughs> Oh my jeez. I've already been at this for like 30 minutes or maybe longer. I don't even know. This is just, this is not a good sign. This is not a good start. You know, <laughs> I don't know if I would recommend trying to move shulkers. Because now I have like invisible endermen. Like, do you see this? There's like endermen shadows and like particles, but I don't see, I don't see any endermen. They're like invisible or or something. This is... I don't even know. This is very strange. Let's just kill this Enderman. Oh, and now I can't even hit the Enderman in the boat. Ugh, this is just not... not a good start. At least you can fly down after you've been hit by a shulker if you have your wings on. So that's really nice. You know, if you didn't know, you know, if you equip your elytra after you get hit by a shulker box, you can press jump and you can fly back down. So you don't, like, fall and get hit by, like, fall damage and stuff like that. Um, but since this Enderman won't get out of the boat and I can't kill him, I guess we'll just try to pull, pull him. Oh good, he went away, okay. Let's get in the boat and let's, let's just boat him all the way over to the return portal. This shouldn't be that hard, but I think I'm being attacked by Endermen for some reason. Like, my hearts are going down really, really fast and it sounds like there's Endermen after me. Yeah, there sure are. Why are Endermen attacking me? I didn't look at them, I've been in a boat. Oh, look at that, there's like a horde of Endermen following me. That's nice. Ugh, this is just, this is not my day. If I can just manage to get one single shulker to the overworld, I will feel so super accomplished. You know, I understand now why most people just build these farms in the end and call it good. But in this server, we actually reset the end occasionally um, so that there's, you know, end cities to loot and stuff like that. So, you know, we can't really build that much in the end or would have to like rebuild it anyway. You know, but this this is working. I mean, putting a shulker in a boat you know, at least it's not glitching out and falling through like it is with the rails. So let's just hope that once we get close enough to the return portal to put him in a minecart, you know, that it's just smooth sailing. You know, it's kind of like good guys and bad guys. You know, like good guys only have to get lucky one time. You know, where bad guys have to get lucky every single time. You know, so hopefully, you know, we'll get lucky one time. You know, that's all we need is just a single shulker. 
you know, so I'm gonna push him and okay, it's working. Never mind, it's not working. He fell through and now he's suffocating. Oh, I just don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've ever moved shulker boxes and what kind of grief they've given you. Have you ever seen them fall through the floor like this? Like I've never seen this before. You know, like, I mean, he's fine right now, like kind of going back and forth, like on a seesaw, you know, but it's like whenever I push him, then he just, he falls to the floor again. I just, I don't know what to do, guys. Oh, man. Oh, somebody help me. I don't know what to do. How else could I do this, I wonder? Like, I guess I could use water in a boat, maybe? And like, since the boat seems to work, you know, I didn't bring any water with me, but maybe if I go back and get some, you know, I could, I could just make like a water slide, maybe? And like, boat him up the water slide? I don't know. It just... <sighs> I just want to keep trying this because it, it just needs to work one time. You know, and earlier I was pushing him around in the in the in the rails just fine. You know, and it was just and now he won't even move. Oh my god! And then he just fell through. Oh, and he immediately died. Oh my god! I don't know what to do. Oh, okay, let's try again. Let's go get another one. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's my motto for the day. <laughs> you know, like because I feel like I I don't even know if I'm going to succeed. You know, it feels like I'm just going to fail, but we're going to try. You know, and I have to mention that, like, there's a shop in the shopping district that sells shulkers full of shulker shells. Like, hundreds of shulker shells for just a few diamond blocks. I don't know if it's worth fighting these armies of endermen that, for some reason, chase me whenever I'm in a boat. You know, like, hey, I should just go buy one of those shulkers full of shulker shells and just put it at the farm. And be like, look, guys, I, I finished the farm, and it produced a whole shulker box full of shulker shells. You know, like, we're good, you know. Because <laughs> uh, this just definitely is not working. This is not my day, you know. I was really hoping that this would just go nice and smooth, you know, but I, I don't even know. So th let this be a lesson to you. You know, <laughs> if you ever decide to move shulkers around in the, in the, in the end, you know, be prepared for some silly nonsense. Because uh, this, is, this is driving me insane. You know, I think I'm insane. I'm going to start singing songs, you know, like, I once was a potato, but then I got squished. Now I am just another side dish. To be served with some carrots and maybe some fish. To be whole once more is my only wish. And were my wish granted, I'd like to be planted out in the garden next to the tomatoes so that I might grow some more lovely potatoes. Because I'm going insane moving these shulkers. <laughs> Oh, God. And all of my gear is breaking now, too, from being in the boat, being harassed by everything. Luckily, I have these bottles of enchanting that, that Bean gave me. You know, I'm super, super thankful that he gave me those because they are coming in handy right now because I really need to fix my gear. You know, being in the boat, getting shot by the shulker, you know, that wouldn't be that bad. I mean, it's just a little bit of damage. But then, like, whenever a horde of ten endermen start, you know, harassing me, I just, I don't... I don't understand any of the stuff that's going on today. Like, I am so, so confused. And now I'm suffocating. Oh, that's nice. You know, okay, at least I glitched through. You know, so I guess glitching through sometimes is good. <laughs> you know, oh. Uh, you know, again, let me know in the comments. Have you ever moved shulkers? You know, have you ever run into these, these problems before? You know, am I just kind of dumb? You know, am I not doing something right? You know, I just don't know what to do. You know, the only other thing I can think of is like water. Or like glass, maybe, you know, because I mean, like like that, he just froze. He just stopped moving, you know, on powered rails. Like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm so sad. I just, I really don't know what to do. He just, I mean, look at that. He just falls to the floor. What am I supposed to do with this nonsense? I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm being pranked or something. It's not supposed to be this hard. If it just wouldn't fall through like one time. You know, just like one, one time is all I need. You know, if I could just move one, I'd be like, look, guys, I moved one shulker box. Now someone else move the other one, please. You know, <laughs> this is just not working. He wouldn't even go up the like the, the like ramp thing. He wouldn't even go up two blocks. You know, and if I can't get him up two blocks, I just I don't know any other way to move them upwards. Like other than like a water slide or like maybe scaffolding or something. Or I could spawn proof the entire area like but I can't even. <laughs> They just fall down, you know? I'm trying to make them go up, and they're going down, like, you know, oh, he just, he just died. Okay, I think I'm done. I don't, I think I'm gonna give up, you know? 
I, I don't I don't know what else to do. I'm frustrated. I'm sad. I'm gonna cry. I, I think I'm gonna call it a day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep, yep, I give up. I can't do it. I failed. I'm going to pack up, and I'm going to go home, and I'm going to sleep it off, you know? <laughs> oh, goodness. Luckily for me, we already have a bunch of shulkers in the overworld. You know, I just wanted to get one myself to prove that I can, you know, but I can't. So, I'm going to use some of the ones that have been delivered to our area, and I'm going to try to load them up into this thingy up here. You know, hopefully, since people have brought me shulkers, you know, they've already done the hard part of moving them from the end to the overworld, so I should be able to, to move them up here. You know, but I'm definitely not going to try the rail system because that obviously doesn't work. So I'm going to just flood this and make a water slide. Since the boat seemed to be fine, we're just going to try to boat him all the way up there. You know, driving a boat up a water slide should be totally doable. You know, hopefully this will go a lot smoother. You know, I'm super, super hopeful. I know this will work. This should be super easy. I mean, already this is going much, much better. You know, actually having water to, 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 you know, have the boat drive on, you know, is so much faster than trying to drive across, you know, in stone or whatever. And it's working. Look, it's totally working. Me and this shulker are going on an adventure. We are going up to the tippy top of the world. You know, we're breaking all the water park rules. We are going up the water slide. You know, screw you rules like screw you gravity. We're, oh, crap. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What happened? What happened? It just kicked me out of the boat and then he just disappeared. Oh, he's up there. No, you've got to be kidding me. We were making such good progress. Like, why? Why? We were like, you know, a third of the way up there. Oh, well, at least that was a good sign. Hopefully we can just, you know, get him back in the boat and then go up a little further. Oh, and of course I fell. <laughs> oh, why would I want this to go smooth? You know, but anyway, hopefully, you know, we can just make progress with the boat. And, you know, hopefully every time he falls out of the boat, he'll just teleport, you know, somewhere nearby. You know, technically, if worse comes to worse, you know, shulkers can only teleport... I forgot. I think it's like eight blocks in any direction. So, like, what you can technically do is, like, spawn-proof the entire area except for one block that's like seven or eight blocks away from the shulker you know and then you can force him to teleport by like breaking the block that's underneath him or whatever and then since there's only one block that he could go to he'll teleport to that block you know so if this doesn't work i can just make like a series of blocks like eight blocks apart and like this just doesn't look like it's working it won't even let me in the oh my god oh yeah and then we glitched through the water slide, and now we're in a floaty boat. Woohoo! We're in a floaty boat. That's just what I want, is a floaty boat. This, I just don't even know. But anyway, what I was saying before is technically, if worse comes to worse, we can just spawn proof the entire area. I just sank in the lake. This just doesn't make any sense. I've never seen a boat sink. Like, I, I'm speechless. I just, I, I don't even know. I don't even know where he went. Where did, where did he go? Is he under here? I just... Uh, okay, maybe the water slide isn't going to work. Railings isn't going to work. It looks like we might have to do the thing where we place one block every eight blocks or so and spawn-proof the whole area. Like, at least I know that that will work. It, it'd just be kind of annoying, you know, having to, like, destroy this whole water slide and then place, like, you know, a block every eight blocks and then, you know, force him to teleport and slowly walk him up there. You know, but at least I know that would work. I'm going to try a few more things. I'm just going to try, you know, driving the boat one more time. Yeah, this definitely is not working. I'm like, I don't understand. It's like the boat sinks when the shulker is in there. I mean, the boat fell through the dirt. Like, I've never seen such nonsense. Like, this shouldn't be that hard. I don't, I really don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, if at first you don't succeed, just curl up in a ball and cry, and then you'll feel better. <laughs> oh, God. You know, but in all seriousness, uh, I'm about at my limit. You know, I'm still going insane. You know, I, I want to sing more songs, but I don't want to, you know, make your ears bleed. I just, uh, you know, I'm just going to try this a few more times, and if it works, awesome. You know, and if it doesn't work, then I will just teleport him up. You know, by spawn-proofing the area and breaking out the blocks so that he only has one block to spawn in. Because this just definitely is not working. Like, I'm going to try a lead really quick. Maybe I can, like, reset the boat physics using the lead. 
I just really don't understand though. I mean, the boat was working perfectly fine for so long. I mean, I moved like six shulkers in the end using a boat and it never messed up. And then I moved this one like halfway up the water slide and it was fine. But then just all of a sudden it just decided that it's going to stop working. Like not even, not even kind of try, just flat out stop. Like I don't, I don't understand. Like I'm at the end of my rope. No, no, no. I'm at the end of my lead. <laughs> oh, I'm going insane. I'm getting really tired and frustrated. I'm about to call it quits. I'm going to try this one last thing. And if this doesn't work, then tomorrow I will just teleport him up, you know, one block at a time. You know, at least it won't be as much of a headache, hopefully. Hopefully that will just work, you know. I'm going to try using a lead just to pull him up and maybe it'll like reset the boat physics or something. You know, I doubt it at this point, but, you know, I don't know what else to try. So we're going to try this. And if this doesn't work, I give up. I officially, I admit defeat. I will have been defeated by the boats and the mine carts and the shulkers. And yep, yep, it didn't work. Okay, I, I admit defeat. You know, I'm not too proud to admit when I have been defeated by Minecraft. <laughs> But okay, for now, I'm just gonna box him up so that he's safe. And tomorrow I'll try to walk him up one teleportation at a time by like spawn-proofing the entire area except for one block. And hopefully we'll get it done that way. But wait, I have some exciting news. While I slept, it appears that Super Collide has done it for me. He managed to move them into the farm. It looks like he used glass rails and a nether portal you know, to, to get it done. I'm so, so happy that I don't have to mess with this anymore. You know, I am kind of sad that I couldn't get it done. You know, I feel, I feel kind of bad that like I couldn't figure it out. I don't, I wonder, you know, I wish I could have seen him actually do this because I don't understand why it was giving me so much trouble, you know, but I'm so, so thankful. Thank you so much, Super Collide. You are totally, totally awesome for getting this done for us. You are amazing. He's not even in ZQ, you know, but he, he helped us out and I am so, so thankful. But I think that's a good place to end the episode. You know, I have been building on my base and stuff, you know, while in the process of doing this, you know, the very first thing I built was a bridge over that, that river so that I could actually get to my hill. And then apparently I decided that I'm going to build a cave. So we'll be going over my build in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you found it funny or entertaining, or maybe you learned something or something not to do. You know, let me know in the comments what you liked or didn't like about this video. I'd love to hear your opinion and what you have to say. And if you have any requests, let me know and I will do my best to get it done. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. So don't forget to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out and it makes me super happy. But until next time, I've been your host, Omledu, hopefully teaching you a Minecraft trick or two, and reminding you, as always, don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye.